Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free here today. We will be showing off the intelligence type LR Vegeta on the Pure Saiyans category. Huge, huge, huge shout out to the man Hydros for the gameplay footage. Check out Hydros' YouTube channel. The link will be down below in the description. So that being said, there was a lot of information that came out today, and I dropped the video for it, but then I realized that it didn't record my audio, so I didn't actually wind up dropping the video. But I did go over the Vegeta, the Cooler, um, and the Piccolo, and the other Vegeta in a separate video if you want to know about them and what they do. Link will be down below in the description. So let's go ahead and talk about this unit, my opinions on him, and the way that he breaks down. Of course, we are using uh, the footage for the uh, Super Battle Road. Not Super Battle, excuse me. Uh, we're using Boss Rush. There we go. Anyways, so Vegeta. The biggest flaw with this unit is the fact that he doesn't have something like Prepare for Battle, right? Other than that, I'd say he's where he needs to be. Somewhere between uh, LR Frieza, you know, the free-to-play one, and also LR uh, Trunks as far as, like, prime battles are concerned. He might even be the best. The thing about Frieza is even though he has a really low <laughs> flat boost passive, he still is really, really good, and he just got a really powerful leader in Metacooler. So I think he's going to see a bit of a resurgence. Trunks is very powerful as well, has a... Some really good flat boosts there. And Vegeta is able to output multiple attacks anyway. So just to tell you guys his passive, he gets 15,000 attack and 20,000 defense at the start of the turn, which coupled with LR stats, presumably rainbow LR stats, albeit on the lower end because he's a free-to-play type, you know, stuff like that means that he's very solid regardless. It's it, Having flat boosts are not innately bad. I think there's this stigma where it's like, oh, flat boost is just horrible. No. LRs in particular can utilize those very, very well and age well. For example, the original LR Goku has a flat boost of like, what, 10,000? Something low like that. I'll pull it up here on the side. Uh, and he still outputs for like 2 million on a crit. So he's good. Anyways, if the flat boost is high enough or other things are with it, it's good enough, right? So that being said, Vegeta gets that 15,000 attack and then 20,000 defense. And after he gets attacked for four turns, he is able to get uh, an additional 15,000 attack and launch up to two additional attacks, which coupled with the potential system means he launches four attacks in the same turn, just like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So he also is a pure Saiyans leader, three key 70%. He's pretty much an LR knockoff version of the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Long story short, right? So... That's not a bad thing, though. So we're going to go ahead and transition into the next turn where he is here. Uh, I did, you know, tell Hydros that I wanted to have the Vegeta alongside the LR Vegeta, Majin Vegeta, because they share a lot of good links. Like, they're really good buddies. You're going to see that trigger here. Triple Vegeta rotation. Shout out to Miss DBZ, babe. <laughs> Maria's pretty happy. Uh, we're going to get that. Uh, the good news about this setup, too, is that if you have LR Vegeta in particular, LR Majin Vegeta in particular, he doesn't mind not getting the 18 plus key. So this is not bad for him, right? So they have a really good alliance there. The Vegeta, unfortunately, his best key link would be uh, he has Royal Lineage, he has uh, Golden Warrior, he has access to uh, the Shattering the Limit link. So things of that nature. Again, not bad because a lot of LRs actually have Shattering the Limit anyway. So his attack stat's relatively low. Uh, we were at a million last round. We're about 800 or so K here. Additional attack did come through as well. So I don't know if this is the one from the passive or not. Okay, I, I don't know what that was. It says he can launch up to two additionals. But they were also saying that the additionals from his passive, again, just like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, were forced to be normal attacks. So that could have just been the one from... Uh, the potential system there that we got there. But we are going to eliminate Tech Vegito Blue here and then move on to the next opponent. Now, it's unfortunate because Tech Vegito Blue was our type advantaged opponent. And we couldn't pull him off alongside like a Turles or anything like that. But nonetheless, moving on into round two. Um, as far as this is concerned, as far as Vegeta goes, anyways, the Vegeta, in my opinion, is... Definitely one of the better free-to-play LRs, and he follows the trend behind LR Meta Cooler and uh, the LR Vegito Blue as being a higher-end unit. It does suck, though, that they like to give these free-to-play LRs uh, the flat boost, but it seems like they only really do it to the prime battle units. You know, the prime battle ones are the ones that get the shaft in that way. All right, so we will have Vegeta here to begin. This is a good setup for him because he has access to Shattering Limit on both sides and a key support buddy right there. So we can actually, if played properly, get the 18 key and type advantage here. We will do just that. We're a couple keys shy. All I need is for 
the LR Maj Vegeta not to crit in the front. Hydros, don't let your Maj Vegeta crit, please. <laughs> Three billion, no crit, no additional super, please. Of course they crit. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. That was his best possible setup, too. There we go. But don't worry, we have more because we're playing all the way through this. Um, Best possible setup. That's, that's just how you, that's just how it goes. Sometimes they just like to sabotage. All right. Anyways, that being said, which is something I've said a lot today in my videos, <laughs> we're going to move on from here. So I'm pretty sure this rotation is enough to finish him off. All right. We even get the dodge. <laughs> 1.3. All right. So that's cool to know that this Vegeta resides at about 1.3. Of course, prior to transforming, he's not getting access to a couple of attack links, though. But still, that's about normal for him. So this Goku, 1.2. Okay, so they, all these additional attacks and crits, man. They're just going nutty. Uh, DJ Code Monkey, thank you for the subscription, guys. If you are new, hit that subscribe for more content. All right, so again, uh, amazing rotation. Now, like I said, the last one was pretty much his best one, link-wise. This one is just as good because of the utility here. It's unfortunate, though, that he's kind of shafted a little bit. Now, Hydros wanted to put him in the first spot here just so. Oh, look at this man coming through with the key support. All right, I love that. GG. He did that, though, so he could uh, avoid getting the super with the LR, of course, Majin Vegeta, and eliminating the Rosé, right, in one hit. So <laughs> we get the dodge. That guy has a really good dodge face. Hashtag dodge face. 1.8 million with the 18 key. Of course, more key means more power. More power. Crit for me. Ooh, 1.4. Okay. Uh, I meant ooh crit, not ooh 1.4 million, but <laughs> it wasn't a bad output there. All right, so this Vegeta is going to come through. Probably finish this off. There it is. 3 million no crit. <laughs> Type advantage, though. All right. Oh, hey. Look who's transforming. We're going to get the double transformations. Aren't they both here? Okay, the go are we going to get triples is what I meant? <laughs> no? Okay. All right, the last unit was the physical Goku there. Okay. So when it comes to units like LR Maj Vegeta and the LR Int Vegeta that we're showcasing here, if you have op the option to use a Rebirth unit that has Shattering the Limit and a key passive and or more links like Golden Warrior or things like that, Make sure you take that opportunity because that's where you're going to get the most out of these units because they do need extra help. That's just that's just the reality. They need extra help. So I don't I haven't I was kind of going off on of my rant. I don't think that I've seen too many extra attacks from can you not cooler please? I, I just kind of I, I Vegeta, excuse me. I was thinking about cooler. I was going to say I just think it it doesn't matter here. Vegeta's going to finish him off at some point. And there it is cuz pretty much everything he's doing now is a critical hit. That's where the it, LR1 just doesn't compare to this unit. When he transforms, it's it's no diff, pretty much. So, unfortunate thing about this round it's just, is that it's an entire disadvantaged round. So, there's that. But we are going to start off with the ability to get the Dokkan attack, which is really good. And pretty much max key, too. Oh, I want max key. That's dumb. We're so close. All right, so we're going to get the Dokkan attack. Hopefully, we get a crit with it. The crit would be amazing. I would love to see the crit. We are triggering again legendary power, Super Saiyan, and a few other things there. All right, all seven. All right, this super attack animation is so dope. Oh, no crit, no crit, no crit. That would have been over three mil probably. All good though, let's move on. So what I do want to see is him alongside Turles at least one more time. So when it comes down to what I'm going to do with my unit, um, whenever I can do my own showcase, when the unit comes out, he comes out in a couple of days, I am going to try to optimize him in a different way than here. Alongside more supports, just to see his full maximum output and his full maximum potential. So make sure that you guys are staying tuned for that. Enable notifications, subscribe, all that other stuff. Cook the books and uh, stay tuned for that. But that's what we're going to do. And again, he comes out in a couple of days. So, you know, probably by like the second I should have him done. You know, the second of the month. So, 
All right. All righty. Can we get that crit? That crit life, boys. Can we get that crit? That crit life. That's freaking. He has a really good dodge face. I love it. That smirk, man. So 1.79 pretty much is about the highest attacks that we've seen from him, which is on par with Dokkan Fest units for the most part. And then, of course, he launches the additional attacks, though. It's unfortunate that they're forced to be normals, and that one was from the potential system, that last one. See, that's where units like him and, like, Meta Cooler really show their value when they can actually output more like that. So, polarizing unit. I don't think that he is, like I said, great in anything like that in a previous video, but I do think he's really good. I, I think that he has his utility. I think he's an amazing free-to-play unit. Anytime we get an LR that's free to play, I think they're amazing just in general because it enhances our opportunities. And, you know, you take a look at super, or excuse me, extreme it because he's an extreme type unit, by the way. He's not a super type unit. You take a look at extreme it, and among free to play options, they didn't really have a lot there. And, of course, when it comes to Super Battle Road, he's nice to see. Uh, I don't think he's as good on Super Battle Road as somebody like Trunks is, but he's going to be very valuable there as well. So, this is probably our final rotation as well. So, Anyways, I always get asked every time I use this track, which is very rarely, by the way, which song this is. This is from the Dragon Ball Z Infinite World PS2 game soundtrack. <laughs> so if you like it, great. If you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get a super here. 1.3 million attack. We get the crit. Oh, we might get one more against LR Gogeta. So just depends how greedy this Vegeta here decides to be. Come on, no more supers. Don't do that fourth attack as a super. He can't super on attack two or three, but if he gets one from the potential, it can be. Uh, okay, so no potential system attack, so no crit. Thank you. Oh, hey, Gogeta, you're everywhere, aren't you? Everywhere. Just dropped into Legends, and now you're here in my video. All right, so we're going to get one last chance with this Vegeta. Hopefully, it's a crit. We also got him alongside the boy, Turles. Oof. Key item. Key item. Key I Or Turles in the front spot, actually. Key item. <laughs> no, Hydros, don't do this. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so we do get the uh, Ultra Super there. I wish it was a 24, though. The more, the merrier. That attack stack goes way higher at 24 for him. We get the crit. And 1.9. So with Turles there, of course, he peaks a lot higher. Will we get a crit to finish it off? And we do 1.3. That's smirk. Anyways, everybody, thank you for tuning in again. Huge shout out to Hydros for the gameplay footage. Link will be down below in the description to check that man out. If you want to hear my breakdown for these units, check it out. Link will be down below in the description. Have an awesome day, and I'll catch all of you in the next one, guys.